Chapters 1 through 7 of the Book of Nehemiah from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 1 Words of Nehemiah, son of Hakaliah. And it cometh to pass, in the month of Chislu, the twentieth year, and I have been in Shushan the palace, and come in doth Hanani, one of my brethren, he and men of Judah, and I ask them concerning the Jews, the escaped part that have been left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they say to me, Those left, who have been left of the captivity there in the province, are in great evil and in reproach, and the wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates have been burnt with fire. And it cometh to pass at my hearing these words, I have sat down, and I weep and mourn for days, and I am fasting and praying before the God of the heavens. And I say, I beseech thee, O Jehovah, God of the heavens, God the great and the fearful, keeping the covenant and kindness for those loving him, and for those keeping his commands. Let thine ear be, I pray thee, attentive, and thine eyes open, to hearken unto the prayer of thy servant that I am praying before thee today, by day and by night, concerning the sons of Israel thy servants, and confessing concerning the sins of the sons of Israel that we have sinned against thee, Yea, I and the house of my father have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commands, and the statutes, and the judgments that thou didst command Moses thy servant. Remember, I pray thee, the word that thou didst command Moses thy servant, saying, Ye, ye trespass, I scatter you among peoples, and ye have turned back unto me, and kept my commands, and done them. If your outcast is in the end of the heavens, thence I gather them, and have brought them in unto the place that I have chosen, to cause my name to tabernacle there. And they are thy servants, and thy people whom thou hast ransomed by thy great power, and by thy strong hand. I beseech thee, O Lord, let, I pray thee, thine ear be attentive unto the prayer of thy servant, and unto the prayer of thy servants, those delighting to fear thy name, and give prosperity, I pray thee, to thy servant today, and give him for mercies before this man. And I have been butler to the king. Chapter 2 And it cometh to pass in the month of Nisan, the twentieth year of Artaxerxes the king, wine is before him, and I lift up the wine, and give to the king, and I had not been sad before him. And the king saith to me, Wherefore is thy face sad, and thou not sick? This is nothing except sadness of heart. And I fear very much, and say to the king, Let the king to the age live. Wherefore should not my face be sad, when the city, the place of the graves of my fathers, is a waste, and its gates have been consumed with fire? And the king saith to me, For what art thou seeking? And I pray unto the God of the heavens, and say to the king, if to the king it be good, and if thy servant be pleasing before thee, that thou send me unto Judah, unto the city of the graves of my fathers, and I built it. And the king saith to me, and the queen is sitting near him, How long is thy journey, and when dost thou return? And it is good before the king, and he sendeth me away, and I set to him a time. And I say to the king, If to the king it be good, Letters let be given to me for the governors beyond the river, that they let me pass over till that I come in unto Judah, and a letter unto Asaph, keeper of the paradise that the king hath, that he give to me trees for beams for the gates of the palace that the house hath, and for the wall of the city, and for the house into which I enter. And the king giveth to me, according to the good hand of my God upon me. And I come in unto the governors beyond the river, and give to them the letters of the king, and the king sendeth with me heads of a force, and horsemen. And Sanballat the Horonite heareth, and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, and it is evil to them, a great evil, that a man hath come in to seek good for the sons of Israel. And I come in unto Jerusalem, and I am there three days, and I rise by night, I and a few men with me, and have not declared to a man what my God is giving unto my heart to do for Jerusalem. 
and there is no beast with me except the beast on which I am riding. And I go out through the gate of the valley by night, and unto the front of the fountain of the dragon, and unto the gate of the dunghill, and I am measuring about the walls of Jerusalem that are broken down, and its gates consumed with fire. And I pass over unto the gate of the fountain, and unto the pool of the king, and there is no place for the beast under me to pass over. And I am going up through the brook by night, and am measuring about the wall, and turn back, and come in through the gate of the valley, and turn back. And the prefects have not known whither I have gone, and what I am doing. And to the Jews, and to the priests, and to the freemen, and to the prefects, and to the rest of those doing the work, hitherto I have not declared it. And I say unto them, Ye are seeing the evil that we are in, in that Jerusalem is waste, and its gates have been burnt with fire. Come, and we build the wall of Jerusalem, and we are not any more a reproach. And I declare to them the hand of my God that is good upon me, and also the words of the king that he said to me. And they say, Let us rise, and we have built. And they strengthen their hands for good. And Sanballat the Horonite heareth, and Tobiah the servant the Ammonite, and Geshem the Arabian, and they mock at us and despise us, and say, What is this thing that ye are doing? Against the king are ye rebelling? And I return them word, and say to them, The God of the heavens, he doth give prosperity to us, and we his servants rise and have built, and to you there is no portion and right and memorial in Jerusalem. Chapter 3 And Eliashib the high priest riseth, and his brethren the priests, and they build the sheep gate. They have sanctified it, and set up its doors, even unto the tower of Mia they have sanctified it, unto the tower of Hananiel. And by his hand have men of Jericho built, and by their hand hath Zakur son of Imri built. And the fish gate have sons of Hassaneah built, they have walled it, and set up its doors, its locks, and its bars. And by their hand hath Merimoth, son of Urijah, son of Koz, strengthened. And by his hand hath Meshulam, son of Berechiah, son of Meshezabiel, strengthened. And by his hand hath Zadok, son of Baana, strengthened. And by his hand hath the Tekoites strengthened, and their honorable ones have not brought in their neck to the service of their lord. And the old gate have Jehoiada, son of Paseah, and Meshulam, son of Besodeiah, strengthened. They have walled it, and set up its doors, and its locks, and its bars. And by their hand hath Melatiah the Gibeonite strengthened, and Jadon the Maranathite, men of Gibeon and of Mizpah, to the throne of the governor beyond the river. By his hand hath Uziel son of Harhiah of the refiners strengthened, and by his hand hath Hananiah son of one of the compounders strengthened, and they leave Jerusalem unto the broad wall. And by their hand hath Rephaiah son of Hur, head of the half of the district of Jerusalem, strengthened. And by their hand hath Jediah son of Harumath strengthened, and over against his own house. And by his hand hath Hattush son of Hashabniah strengthened. A second measure hath Malchijah son of Harim strengthened, and Hashub son of Pahath Moab, even the tower of the furnaces. And by his hand hath Shalom son of Halohesh, head of the half of the district of Jerusalem, strengthened, he and his daughters. The gate of the valley hath Hanun strengthened, and the inhabitants of Zanoah. They have built it, and set up its doors, its locks, and its bars, and a thousand cubits in the wall unto the dung gate. And the dung gate hath Malchijah son of Rechab, head of the district of Beth Hakarem, strengthened. He doth built it, and set up its doors, its locks, and its bars. And the gate of the fountain hath Shalom, son of Kolhoza, head of the district of Mizpah, strengthened. He doth build it, and cover it, and set up its doors, its locks, and its bars, and the wall of the pool of Siloah, to the garden of the king, and unto the steps that are going down from the city of David. After him hath Nehemiah, son of Azbuk, head of the half of the district of Bethzur, strengthened, unto over against the graves of David, and unto the pool that is made, and unto the house of the mighty ones. After him hath the Levites strengthened, and Rehum, son of Bani, by his hand hath Hashabiah, head of the half of the district of Keilah, strengthened, for his district. After him have their brethren strengthened, and Bavai, son of Henadad, head of the half of the district of Keilah, and Ezer son of Jeshua, head of Mizpah, doth strengthen by his hand a second measure, from over against the ascent of the armory at the angle. 
after him hath baruch son of zabai hastened to strengthen a second measure from the angle unto the opening of the house of eliashib the high priest after him hath meramoth son of urijah son of Koz, strengthened a second measure from the opening of the house of eliashib even unto the completion of the house of eliashib and after him hath the priests men of the circuit strengthened after them hath benjamin strengthened and hashub over against their house after him hath azariah son of maaseiah son of ananiah strengthened near his house after him hath benuai son of henadad strengthened a second measure from the house of azariah unto the angle and unto the corner palal son of uzai from over against the angle and the tower that is going out from the upper house of the king that is at the court of the prison after him pedaiah son of parosh and the nephanim have been dwelling in ophel unto over against the water gate at the east and the tower that goeth out after him hath the tekoites strengthened a second measure from over against the great tower that goeth out and unto the wall of ophel from above the horse gate have the priests strengthened each over against his house after them hath zadok son of Emer strengthened over against his house and after him hath shemaiah son of shechaniah keeper of the east gate strengthened after him hath hananiah son of shelemiah strengthened and hanun the sixth son of zaloth a second measure after him hath meshulam son of berachiah strengthened over against his chamber after him hath malchijah son of the refiner strengthened unto the house of the nethanim and of the merchants over against the gate of the mifkad and unto the ascent of the corner and between the ascent of the corner and the sheep gate have the refiners and the merchants strengthened chapter four and it cometh to pass when sanballat hath heard that we are building the wall that it is displeasing to him and he is very angry and mocketh at the jews and saith before his brethren and the force of samaria yea he saith what are the weak jews doing are they left to themselves do they sacrifice do they complete in a day do they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish <laughs> and they burnt and tobiah the ammonite is by him and saith also that which they are building if a fox doth go up then it hath broken down their stone wall hear o our god for we have been despised and turn back their reproach on their own head and give them for a spoil in a land of captivity and do not cover over their iniquity and their sin from before thee let not be blotted out for they have provoked to anger over against those building and we build the wall and all the wall is joined unto its half and the people have a heart to work and it cometh to pass when sanballat hath heard and tobiah and the arabians and the ammonites and the ashdodites that lengthening hath gone up to the walls of jerusalem that the breaches have begun to be stopped then it is very displeasing to them and they conspire all of them together to come in to fight against jerusalem and to do to it injury and we pray unto our god and appoint a watch against them by day and by night because of them and judah saith the power of the burden-bearers hath become feeble and the rubbish is abundant and we are not able to build on the wall and our adversaries say they do not know nor see till that we come into their midst and have slain them and caused the work to cease and it cometh to pass when the jews have come who are dwelling near them that they say to us ten times from all the places whither ye return they are against us and i appoint at the lowest of the places at the back of the wall in the clear places yea i appoint the people by their families with their swords their spears and their bows and i see and rise up and say unto the freemen and unto the prefects and unto the rest of the people be not afraid of them the lord the great and the fearful remember ye and fight for your brethren your sons and your daughters your wives and your houses and it cometh to pass when our enemies have heard that it hath been known to us and god doth frustrate their counsel and we turn back all of us unto the wall each unto his work yea it cometh to pass from that day half of my servants are working in the business and half of them are keeping hold of both the spears the shields and the bows and the coats of mail and the heads are behind all the house of judah 
the builders on the wall and the bearers of the burden those lading each with one of his hands is working in the business and one is laying hold of the missile and the builders are each with his sword girded on his loins and building and he who is blowing with a trumpet is beside me and i say unto the freemen and unto the prefects and unto the rest of the people the work is abundant and large and we are separated on the wall far off one from another in the place that ye hear the voice of the trumpet thither ye are gathered unto us our god doth fight for us and we are working in the business and half of them are keeping hold of the spears from the going up of the dawn till the coming forth of the stars also at that time i said to the people let each with his servant lodge in the midst of jerusalem and they have been to us by night a guard and by day for the work and there are none i and my brethren and my servants the men of the guard who are after me there are none of us putting off our garments each hath his vessel of water chapter five and there is a great cry of the people and their wives concerning their brethren the jews yea there are who are saying our sons and our daughters we are many and we receive corn and eat and live and there are who are saying our fields and our vineyards and our houses we are pledging and we receive corn for the famine and there are who are saying we have borrowed money for the tribute of the king on our fields and our vineyards and now as the flesh of our brethren is our flesh as their sons are our sons and lo we are subduing our sons and our daughters for servants and there are of our daughters subdued and our hand hath no might and our fields and our vineyards are to others and it is very displeasing to me when i have heard their cry and these words and my heart reigneth over me and i strive with the free men and with the prefects and say to them usury one upon another ye are exacting and i set against them a great assembly and say to them we have acquired our brethren the jews though sold to the nations according to the ability that is in us and ye also sell your brethren and they have been sold to us and they are silent and have not found a word and i say not good is the thing that ye are doing in the fear of our god do ye not walk because of the reproach of the nations our enemies and also i my brethren and my servants are exacting of them silver and corn let us leave off i pray you this usury give back i pray you to them as today their fields their vineyards their olive yards and their houses and the hundredth part of the money and of the corn of the new wine and of the oil that ye are exacting of them and they say we give back and of them we seek nothing so we do as thou art saying and i call the priests and cause them to swear to do according to this thing also my lap i have shaken and i say thus doth god shake out every man who doth not perform this thing from his house and from his labor yea thus is he shaken out and empty and all the assembly say amen and praise jehovah and the people do according to this thing also from the day that he appointed me to be their governor in the land of judah from the twentieth year even unto the thirty and second year of artaxerxes the king twelve years i and my brethren the bread of the governor have not eaten the former governors who are before me have made themselves heavy on the people and take of them in bread and wine besides in silver forty shekels also their servants have ruled over the people and i have not done so because of the fear of god and also in the work of this wall i have done mightily even a field we have not bought and all my servants are gathered there for the work and of the jews and of the prefects a hundred and fifty men and those coming in unto us of the nations that are round about us are at my table and that which hath been prepared for one day is one ox six fat sheep also fowls have been prepared for me and once in ten days of all wines abundantly and with this the bread of the governor i have not sought for heavy is the service on this people remember for me o oh my god for good all that i have done for this people chapter six and it cometh to pass when it hath been heard by sanballat and tobiah and by geshem the arabian and by the rest of our enemies that i have builded the wall and there hath not been left in it a breach also till that time the doors i had not set up in the gates that sanballat sendeth also geshem unto me saying 
Come, and we meet together in the villages, in the valley of Ono. And they are thinking to do to me evil, and I send unto them messengers, saying, A great work I am doing, and I am not able to come down. Why doth the work cease when I let it alone, and have come down to you? And they send unto me according to this word four times, and I return them word according to this word. And Sanballat sendeth unto me according to this word a fifth time, his servant, and an open letter in his hand. It is written in it, Among the nations it hath been heard, and Gashmu is saying, Thou and the Jews are thinking to rebel, therefore thou art building the wall, and thou hast been to them for a king, according to these words. And also prophets thou hast appointed to call for thee in Jerusalem, saying, A king is in Judah, and now it is heard by the king according to these words, and now come, and we take counsel together. And I send unto him, saying, It hath not been according to these words that thou art saying, for from thine own heart thou art devising them. For all of them are making us afraid, saying, Their hands are too feeble for the work, and it is not done. And now strengthen thou my hands. And I have entered the house of Shemaiah, son of Delaiah, son of Mahatabiel, and he is restrained. And he saith, Let us meet at the house of God at the inside of the temple, and we shut the doors of the temple, for they are coming in to slay thee. Yea, by night they are coming in to slay thee. And I say, A man such as I, doth he flee? And who as I that doth go in unto the temple and live? I do not go in. And I discern, and lo, God hath not sent him. For in the prophecy he hath spoken unto me, both Tobiah and Sanballat hired him, so that he is an hireling, that I may fear and do so. And I had sinned, and it had been to them for an evil name that they may reproach me. Be mindful, O my God, of Tobiah and of Sanballat, according to these his works, and also of Noadiah the prophetess, and of the rest of the prophets who have been making me afraid. And the wall is completed in the twenty and fifth of Elul, on the fifty and second day. And it cometh to pass, when all our enemies have heard, and all the nations who are round about us see, that they fall greatly in their own eyes, and know that by our God hath this work been done. Also in those days the freemen of Judah are multiplying their letters going unto Tobiah, and those of Tobiah are coming in unto them. For many in Judah are sworn to him, for he is son-in-law to Shechaniah son of Arah, and Jehohanan his son hath taken the daughter of Meshulam son of Berechiah. Also his good deeds they have been saying before me, and my words they have been taking out to him. Letters hath Tobiah sent to make me afraid. Chapter 7 And it cometh to pass, when the wall hath been built, that I set up the doors, and the gatekeepers are appointed, and the singers, and the Levites. And I charge Hanani my brother, and Hananiah head of the palace concerning Jerusalem, for he is as a man of truth, and fearing God above many. And I say to them, let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened till the heat of the sun, and while they are standing by, let them shut the doors, and fasten, and appoint guards of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, each in his guard, and each over against his house. And the city is broad on both sides, and great, and the people are few in its midst, and there are no houses builded. And my God putteth it unto my heart, and I gather the free man, and the prefects, and the people for the genealogy. And I find a book of the genealogy of those coming up at the beginning, and I find written in it, These are sons of the province, those coming up of the captives of the removal that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon removed, and they turn back to Jerusalem and to Judah, each to his city, who are coming in with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Raamiah, Nahamani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispereth, Bigvai, Nahum, Baana, number of the men of the people of Israel, sons of Parosh, two thousand a hundred and seventy and two, sons of Shephatiah, three hundred seventy and two, sons of Ara, six hundred fifty and two, sons of Pahath Moab, of the sons of Jeshua and Joab, two thousand and eight hundred and eighteen, sons of Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four, Sons of Zatu, eight hundred forty and five. 
sons of Zakai, seven hundred and sixty, sons of Binuai, six hundred forty and eight, sons of Bebai, six hundred twenty and eight, sons of Azgad, two thousand three hundred twenty and two, sons of Adonikam, six hundred sixty and seven, sons of Bigvai, two thousand sixty and seven, sons of Aden, six hundred fifty and five, sons of Ater of Hezekiah, ninety and eight, sons of Hashum, three hundred twenty and eight, sons of Bizai, three hundred twenty and four, sons of Harif, a hundred and twelve, sons of Gibeon, ninety and five, men of Bethlehem and Natopha, a hundred eighty and eight, men of Anathoth, a hundred twenty and eight, men of Beth Osmaveth, forty and two, men of Kirjath Jearim, Shephira, and Beeroth, seven hundred forty and three, men of Ramah and Gaba, six hundred twenty and one, men of Michmas, a hundred and twenty and two, men of Bethel and Ai, a hundred twenty and three, men of the other Nebo, fifty and two, sons of the other Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four, sons of Harim, three hundred and twenty, sons of Jericho, three hundred forty and five, sons of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, seven hundred and twenty and one, sons of Senea, three thousand nine hundred and thirty, the priests, sons of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, nine hundred seventy and three, sons of Imer, a thousand fifty and two, sons of Pashur, a thousand two hundred forty and seven, sons of Harim, a thousand and seventeen. The Levites, sons of Jeshua, of Kadmiel, of sons of Hodava, seventy and four. The singers, sons of Asaph, a hundred forty and eight. The gatekeepers, sons of Shalom, sons of Ater, sons of Talmon, sons of Akub, sons of Hatita, sons of Shobai, a hundred thirty and eight. The Nethanim, sons of Ziha, sons of Hasufa, sons of Tabaoth, sons of Keros, sons of Sia, sons of Padon, sons of Labana, sons of Hagaba, sons of Shalmai, sons of Hanan, sons of Gidel, sons of Gahar, sons of Riaiah, sons of Rezin, sons of Nakoda, sons of Gazam, sons of Uza, sons of Phasea, sons of Bezai, sons of Meunim, sons of Nephishasim, sons of Bakbuk, sons of Hakufa, sons of Harhur, sons of Bazlith, sons of Mahida, sons of Harsha, sons of Barkos, sons of Sisera, sons of Tama, sons of Neziah, sons of Hatifa, sons of the servants of Solomon, sons of Sotai, sons of Sophereth, sons of Peraida, sons of Jaala, sons of Darkon, sons of Gidel, sons of Shephetiah, sons of Hatil, sons of Pokereth of Zebaim, sons of Ammon. All the Nephinim and the sons of the servants of Solomon are three hundred ninety and two. And these are those coming up from Tel Milah, Tel Harsha, Cherub, Adon, and Emer. And they have not been able to declare the house of their fathers and their seed, whether they are of Israel. Sons of Delaiah, sons of Tobiah, sons of Nakoda, six hundred forty and two. And of the priests, sons of Habaiah, sons of Koz, sons of Barzillai, who hath taken from the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite a wife, and is called by their name. These have sought their register among those reckoning themselves by genealogy, and it hath not been found, and they are redeemed from the priesthood. And the Tirshatha saith to them that they eat not of the most holy things, till the standing up of the priest with Urim and Thummim, all the assembly together is four myriads, two thousand three hundred and sixty, apart from their servants and their handmaids, these are seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and of them are singers and songstresses, two hundred forty and five. Their horses are seven hundred thirty and six, their mules two hundred and forty and five, camels four hundred thirty and five, asses six thousand seven hundred and twenty, and from the extremity of the heads of the fathers they have given to the work. The Tirshatha hath given to the treasure of gold, drams a thousand, bulls fifty, priests' coats thirty and five hundred. 
and of the heads of the fathers they have given to the treasure of the work, of gold, drams two myriads, and of silver, pounds two thousand and two hundred. And that which the rest of the people have given is of gold, drams two myriads, and of silver, pounds two thousand, and of priests' coats, sixty and seven. And they dwell, the priests, and the Levites, and the gatekeepers, and the singers, and some of the people, and the Nethinim, and all Israel, in their cities, and the seventh month cometh, and the sons of Israel are in their cities. The End of Chapters 1-7 through seven of the Book of Nehemiah from the Young's Literal Translation Recording by Mark Penfold Chapters 8 through 13 of the Book of Nehemiah from the Young's Literal Translation. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 8 And all the people are gathered as one man unto the broad place that is before the water gate, and they say to Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses that Jehovah commanded Israel and ezra the priest bringeth the law before the assembly both of men and women and every one intelligent to hear on the first day of the seventh month and he readeth in it before the broad place that is before the water gate from the light till the middle of the day over against the men and the women and those intelligent and the ears of all the people are unto the book of the law and ezra the scribe standeth on a tower of wood that they made for the purpose and mattathiah standeth near him and Shema, and Aniah, and Urijah, and Hilkiah, and Maasiah on his right, and on his left Pedaiah, and Mishael, and Malkijah, and Hashum, and Hashbadanah, Zechariah, Meshulam. And Ezra openeth the book before the eyes of all the people, for above all the people he hath been, and at his opening it all the people have stood up, and Ezra blesseth Jehovah the great God, and all the people answer, Amen! Amen! with lifting up of their hands, and they bow and do obeisance to Jehovah, faces to the earth. And Jeshua, and Bani, and Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabbathai, Hodijah, Maasiah, Kalita, Azariah, Jozabad, Hanan, Pelaiah, and the Levites, giving the people understanding in the law, and the people, are on their station and they read in the book in the law of god explaining so as to give the meaning and they give understanding to the convocation and nehemiah he is the tershatha saith and ezra the priest the scribe and the levites who are instructing the people to all the people today is holy to jehovah your god do not mourn nor weep for all the people are weeping at their hearing the words of the law and he saith to them Go, eat fat things, and drink sweet things, and sent portions to him for whom nothing is prepared, for today is holy to our Lord, and be not grieved, for the joy of Jehovah is your strength. And the Levites are keeping all the people silent, saying, Be silent, for today is holy, and be not grieved. And all the people go to eat, and to drink, and to send portions, and to make great joy, because they have understood concerning the words that they made known to them. And on the second day have been gathered heads of the fathers of all the people, the priests and the Levites, unto Ezra the scribe, even to act wisely concerning the words of the law. And they find written in the law that Jehovah commanded by the hand of Moses that the sons of Israel dwell in booths in the feast in the seventh month, and that they proclaim and cause to pass over all their cities and in Jerusalem, saying, Go ye out to the mount, and bring leaves of the olive, and leaves of the oil tree, and leaves of the myrtle, and leaves of the palms, and leaves of thick trees, to make booths, as it is written. And the people go out, and bring in, and make for themselves booths, each on his roof, and in their courts, and in the courts of the house of God, and in the broad place of the water gate, and in the broad place of the gate of Ephraim. And they make all the assembly of the captives of the captivity, booths, and they sit in booths. For the sons of Israel had not done, from the days of Joshua son of Nun, so unto that day, and there is very great joy. 
and he readeth in the book of the law of god day by day from the first day till the last day and they make a feast seven days and on the eighth day a restraint according to the ordinance chapter nine and in the twenty and fourth day of this month have the sons of israel been gathered with fasting and with sackcloth and earth upon them and the seed of israel are separated from all sons of a stranger and stand and confess concerning their sins and the iniquities of their fathers and rise up on their station and read in the book of the law of jehovah their god a fourth of the day and a fourth they are confessing and bowing themselves to jehovah their god and there stand up on the ascent of the levites jeshua and bani cadmiel shebaniah bunai sherabiah bani chanani and they cry with a loud voice unto jehovah their god and the levites say even jeshua and cadmiel bani hashabniah sherabiah hodijah shebaniah pethahiah rise bless jehovah your god from the age unto the age and they bless the name of thine honor that is exalted above all blessing and praise thou art he o jehovah thyself thou hast made the heavens the heavens of the heavens and all their host the earth and all that are on it the seas and all that are in them and thou art keeping all of them alive and the host of the heavens to thee are bowing themselves thou art he o jehovah god who didst fix on abraham and didst bring him out from ur of the chaldeans and didst make his name abraham and didst find his heart steadfast before thee so as to make with him the covenant to give the land of the canaanite the hittite the amorite and the perizzite and the jebusite and the girgashite to give it to his seed and thou dost establish thy words for thou art righteous and dost see the affliction of our fathers in egypt and their cry hast heard by the sea of suf and dost give signs and wonders on pharaoh and on all his servants and on all the people of his land for thou hast known that they have acted proudly against them and thou makest to thee a name as at this day and the sea thou hast cleaved before them and they pass over into the midst of the sea on the dry land and their pursuers thou hast cast into the depths as a stone into the strong waters and by a pillar of cloud thou hast led them by day and by a pillar of fire by night to lighten to them the way in which they go and on mount sinai thou hast come down even to speak with them from the heavens and thou dost give to them right judgments and true laws good statutes and commands and thy holy sabbath thou hast made known to them and commands and statutes and law thou hast commanded for them by the hand of moses thy servant and bread from the heavens thou hast given to them for their hunger and water from a rock hast brought out to them for their thirst and dost say to them to go in to possess the land that thou hast lifted up thy hand to give to them and they and our fathers have acted proudly and hardened their neck and have not hearkened unto thy commands yea they refuse to hearken and have not remembered thy wonders that thou hast done with them and harden their neck and appoint a head to turn back to their service in their rebellion and thou art a god of pardons gracious and merciful long-suffering and abundant in kindness and hast not forsaken them also when they have made to themselves a molten calf and say this is thy god that brought thee up out of egypt and do great despisings and thou in thine abundant mercies hast not forsaken them in the wilderness the pillar of the cloud hath not turned aside from off them by day to lead them in the way and the pillar of the fire by night to give light to them and the way in which they go and thy good spirit thou hast given to cause them to act wisely and thy manna thou hast not withheld from their mouth and water thou hast given to them for their thirst and forty years thou hast nourished them in a wilderness they have not lacked their garments have not worn out and their feet have not swelled and thou givest to them kingdoms and peoples and dost apportion them to the corner and they possess the land of sihon and the land of the king of heshbon and the land of og king of bashan and their sons thou hast multiplied as the stars of the heavens and bringest them in unto the land that thou hast said to their fathers to go in to possess 
and the sons come in and possess the land and thou humblest before them the inhabitants of the land the canaanites and givest them into their hand and their kings and the peoples of the land to do with them according to their pleasure and they capture fenced cities and fat ground and possess houses full of all good digged wells vineyards and olive yards and fruit trees in abundance and they eat and are satisfied and become fat and delight themselves in thy great goodness and they are disobedient and rebel against thee and cast thy law behind their back and thy prophets they have slain who testified against them to bring them back unto thee and they do great despisings and thou givest them into the hand of their adversaries and they distress them and in the time of their distress they cry unto thee and thou from the heavens dost hear and according to thine abundant mercies dost give to them saviours and they save them out of the hand of their adversaries and when they have rest they turn back to do evil before thee and thou dost leave them in the hand of their enemies and they rule over them and they turn back and call thee and thou from the heavens dost hear and dost deliver them according to thy mercies many times and dost testify against them to bring them back unto thy law and they they have acted proudly and have not hearkened to thy commands and against thy judgments have sinned which man doth and hath lived in them and they give a refractory shoulder and their neck have hardened and have not hearkened and thou drawest over them many years and testifiest against them by thy spirit by the hand of thy prophets and they have not given ear and thou dost give them into the hand of peoples of the lands and in thine abundant mercies thou hast not made them a consumption nor hast forsaken them for a god gracious and merciful art thou and now o our god god the great the mighty and the fearful keeping the covenant and the kindness let not all the travail that hath found us be little before thee for our kings for our heads and for our priests and for our prophets and for our fathers and for all thy people from the days of the kings of ashur unto this day and thou art righteous concerning all that hath come upon us for truth thou hast done and we have done wickedly and our kings our heads our priests and our fathers have not done thy law nor attended unto thy commands and to thy testimonies that thou hast testified against them and they in their kingdom and in thine abundant goodness that thou hast given to them and in the land the large and the fat that thou hast set before them have not served thee nor turned back from their evil doings lo we to-day are servants and the land that thou hast given to our fathers to eat its fruit and its good lo we are servants on it and its increase it is multiplying to the kings whom thou hast set over us in our sins and over our bodies they are ruling and over our cattle according to their pleasure and we are in great distress and for all this we are making a steadfast covenant and are writing and over him who is sealed are our heads our levites our priests chapter ten and over those sealed are nehemiah the tirshatha son of hakaliah and zidkijah saraiah azariah jeremiah pashur amariah malkijah hatush shebaniah maluk harim meramoth obadiah daniel ginathon baruch meshulam abijah majamin maaziah bilgai shemaiah these are the priests and the levites both jeshua son of azaniah binuai of the sons of henadad cadmiel and their brethren shebaniah hodijah kelaita pelaiah hanan micah rehob hashabiah zakur sherabiah shebaniah hodijah bani benainu heads of the people parosh pahathmoab elam zatu bani bunai asgad bebai adonijah bigvai adin ater hizkaijah azur hodijah hashum bezai harif anathoth nebai magpiash meshulam hezir meshezabiel zadok jadua pelatiah hanan anaiah hoshea hananiah hashub 
Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Hashabna, Maasiah, and Ahijah, Hanan, Anan, Maluk, Harim, Baana. And the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the Nethanim, and every one who hath been separated from the peoples of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, every knowing intelligent one, are laying hold on their brethren, their honorable ones, and coming into an execration, and into an oath, to walk in the law of God that was given by the hand of Moses, servant of God, and to observe and to do all the commands of Jehovah our Lord, and his judgments and his statutes, and that we give not our daughters to the peoples of the land, and their daughters we take not to our sons. And the peoples of the land who are bringing in the wares and any corn on the Sabbath day to sell, we receive not of them on the Sabbath and on a holy day. And we leave the seventh year, and usury on every hand. And we have appointed for ourselves commands to put on ourselves the third of a shekel in a year for the service of the house of our God, for bread of the arrangement, and the continual present, and the continual burnt offering of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for appointed seasons, and for holy things, and for sin offerings, to make atonement for Israel, even all the work of the house of our God and the lots we have caused to fall for the offering of wood among the priests, the Levites, and the people, to bring into the house of our God by the house of our fathers, at times appointed year by year, to burn on the altar of Jehovah our God, as it is written in the law, and to bring in the first fruits of our ground, and the first fruits of all fruit of every tree, year by year, to the house of Jehovah, and the firstlings of our sons and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and our flocks, to bring into the house of our God, to the priests who are ministering in the house of our God, and the beginning of our dough, and our heave offerings, and the fruit of every tree, of new wine and of oil, we bring in to the priests, unto the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithe of our ground to the Levites, and they, the Levites, have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage, and the priest, son of Aaron, hath been with the Levites in the tithing of the Levites, and the Levites bring up the tithe of the tithe to the house of our God, unto the chambers, to the treasure house. For unto the chambers do they bring in, the sons of Israel and the sons of Levi, the heave offering of the corn, the new wine, and the oil. And there are vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests, those ministering, and the gatekeepers, and the singers, and we do not forsake the house of our God. Chapter 11 And the heads of the people dwell in Jerusalem, and the rest of the people have caused to fall lots, to bring in one out of ten to dwell in Jerusalem the holy city, and nine parts in the cities. And the people give a blessing to all the men who are offering themselves willingly to dwell in Jerusalem. And these are heads of the province who have dwelt in Jerusalem, and in cities of Judah. They have dwelt each in his possession in their cities. Israel the priests, and the Levites, and the Nephanim, and the sons of the servants of Solomon. And in Jerusalem have dwelt of the sons of Judah, and of the sons of Benjamin, of the sons of Judah, Athaiah, son of Uzziah, son of Zechariah, son of Amariah, son of Shephatiah, son of Mahalaliel, of the sons of Perez, and Maasiah, son of Baruch, son of Kolhoza, son of Hazaiah, son of Adaiah, son of Joyarib, son of Zechariah, son of Shiloni, all the sons of Perez who are dwelling in Jerusalem are four hundred sixty and eight, men of valor. And these are sons of Benjamin, Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Joed, son of Pedaiah, son of Kolaiah, son of Maasiah, son of Ithiel, son of Jesaiah, and after him Gabai, Salai, nine hundred twenty and eight. And Joel, son of Zikri, is inspector over them, and Judah, son of Senua, is over the city, second. Of the priests, Jediah, son of Joyarib, Jachin. Saraiah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Marioth, son of Ahitub, leader of the house of God. And their brethren doing the work of the house are eight hundred twenty and two. And Adaiah, son of Jeroham, son of Pelaliah, son of Amzai, son of Zechariah, son of Pashur, son of Malchiah, and his brethren, heads of fathers, two hundred forty and two. 
and Amashsai, son of Azariel, son of Ahazai, son of Mashilameth, son of Imer, and their brethren, mighty of valor, a hundred twenty and eight, and an inspector over them is Zabdiel, son of one of the great men. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrakam, son of Hashabiah, son of Bunai, and Shabbathai, and Josabad, are over the outward work of the house of God, of the heads of the Levites. And Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Zabdi, son of Asaph, is head. At the commencement he giveth thanks in prayer. And Bakbukiah is second among his brethren, and Abda, son of Shamua, son of Galal, son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city are two hundred eighty and four. And the gatekeepers, Akub, Talmon, and their brethren, those watching at the gates, are a hundred seventy and two. And the rest of Israel, of the priests, of the Levites, are in all cities of Judah, each in his inheritance. And the Nephinim are dwelling in Ophel, and Ziha and Gishba are over the Nephinim. And the overseer of the Levites in Jerusalem is Uzai, son of Bani, son of Hashabiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micah. Of the sons of Asaph, the singers are over against the work of the house of God. For the command of the king is upon them, and support is for the singers, a matter of a day in its day. And Pethahiah, son of Meshezabiel, of the sons of Zerah, son of Judah, is by the hand of the king for every matter of the people. And at the villages with their fields, of the sons of Judah, there have dwelt, in Kirjath Arba and its small towns, and in Dibon and its small towns, and in Jacobziel and its villages, and in Jeshua, and in Malada, and in Bethphelet, and in Hazar Shual, and in Beersheba and its small towns, and in Ziklag, and in Mekona and in its small towns, and in Ramon, and in Zareah, and in Jarmuth, Zanoa, Adulam, and their villages, Lachish and its fields, Azekah and its small towns, and they encamp from Beersheba unto the valley of Hinnom. And sons of Benjamin are at Geba, Michmash, and Aijah, and Bethel and its small towns, Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Rama, Getaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nebalat, Lod, and Ono, the valley of the artificers, and of the Levites, the courses of Judah are for Benjamin. Chapter 12 And these are the priests and the Levites who came up with Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Saraiah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Maluk, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehum, Meramoth, Ido, Ginnathoi, Abijah, Mayamin, Maadiah, Bilga, Shemaiah, and Joyarib, Jedaiah, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, Jedaiah. These are heads of the priests and of their brethren in the days of Jeshua. And the Levites are Jeshua, Binuai, Kadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, Mataniah, he is over the thanksgiving, and his brethren, and Bakbukiah and Unai, their brethren, are over against them in charges. And Jeshua hath begotten Joachim, and Joachim hath begotten Eliashib, and Eliashib hath begotten Joiada, and Joiada hath begotten Jonathan, and Jonathan hath begotten Jadua. And in the days of Joachim have been priests, heads of the fathers, of Saraiah, Meraiah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Meliku, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Harim, Adna, of Merioth, Helkai, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathon, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Meniamin, of Moadiah, Piltai, of Bilga, Shamua, of Shemaiah, Jehonathan, and of Joyarib, Matani, of Jedaiah, Uzai, of Salai, Kalai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jedaiah, Nathaniel. The Levites, in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, and Johanan, and Jadua, are written, heads of fathers, and of the priests, in the kingdom of Darius the Persian. Sons of Levi, heads of the fathers, are written on the book of the Chronicles, even till the days of Johanan, son of Eliashib. And heads of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, 
and Jeshua, son of Cadmiel, and their brethren, are over against them, to give praise, to give thanks, by command of David the man of God, charge over against charge. Mataniah and Bakpukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, Akub, are gatekeepers, keeping charge in the gatherings of the gates. These are in the days of Joachim, son of Jeshua, son of Jozadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places, to bring them into Jerusalem, to make the dedication even with gladness, and with thanksgivings, and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. And sons of the singers are gathered together even from the circuit round about Jerusalem, and from the villages of Netophathai, and from the house of Gilgal, and from fields of Geba and Osmaveth, for villages have the singers built for themselves round about Jerusalem. And the priests and the Levites are cleansed, and they cleanse the people, and the gates, and the wall. And I bring up the heads of Judah upon the wall, and appoint two great thanksgiving companies and processions, at the right on the wall to the dung gate, and after them goeth Hoshaiah and half of the heads of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshulam, Judah, and Benjamin, and Shemaiah, and Jeremiah. And of the sons of the priests with trumpets, Zechariah son of Jonathan, son of Shemaiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micaiah, son of Zakur, son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah, and Azarael, Milalai, Gilalai, Mai, Nathaniel, and Judah, Hanani, with instruments of song of David the man of God, and Ezra the scribe is before them. And by the gate of the fountain, and over against them, they have gone up by the steps of the city of David, at the going up of the wall beyond the house of David, and unto the water gate eastward. And the second thanksgiving company that is going over against, and I after it, and half of the people on the wall from beyond the tower of the furnaces, and unto the broad wall, and from beyond the gate of Ephraim, and by the old gate, and by the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Mea, and unto the sheep gate, and they have stood at the prison gate. And the two thanksgiving companies stand in the house of God, and I, and half of the prefects with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maaseiah, Maniamin, Micaiah, Elioni, Zechariah, Hananiah, with trumpets, and Maaseiah, and Shemaiah, and Eleazar, and Uzai, and Jehohanan, and Malchijah, and Elam, and Ezer, and the singers sound, and Jezrahiah the inspector. And they sacrifice on that day great sacrifices, and rejoice, for God hath made them rejoice with great joy. And also the women and the children have rejoiced, and the joy of Jerusalem is heard unto a distance. And certain are appointed on that day over the chambers for treasures, for heave offerings, for first fruits, and for tithes, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the law for priests and for Levites. For the joy of Judah is over the priests and over the Levites who are standing up. And the singers and the gatekeepers keep the charge of their God even the charge of the cleansing, according to the command of David and Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old were heads of the singers, and a song of praise and thanksgiving to God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah are giving the portions of the singers and of the gatekeepers the matter of a day in its day, and are sanctifying to the Levites, and the Levites are sanctifying to the sons of Aaron. Chapter 13 On that day there was read in the book of Moses in the ears of the people, and it hath been found written in it, that an Ammonite and Moabite doth not come in to the assembly of God unto the age, because they have not come before the sons of Israel with bread and with water, and hire against them Balaam to revile them, and our God turneth the reviling into a blessing. And it cometh to pass at their hearing the law, that they separate all the mixed people from Israel. And before this, Eliashib the priest, appointed over chambers of the house of our God, is a relation of Tobiah, and he maketh for him a great chamber, and there they were formerly putting the present, the frankincense and the vessels, and the tithe of the corn, the new wine and the oil, the commanded thing of the Levites, and the singers and the gatekeepers, and the heave offering of the priests, 
and during all this i was not in jerusalem for in the thirty and second year of artaxerxes king of babylon did i come unto the king and at the end of days i have asked of the king and i come into jerusalem and understand concerning the evil that eliashib hath done for tobiah to make to him a chamber in the courts of the house of god and it is very displeasing to me and i cast all the vessels of the house of tobiah without out of the chamber and i speak and they cleanse the chambers and i bring back thither the vessels of the house of god with the present and the frankincense and i know that the portions of the levites have not been given and they flee each to his field the levites and the singers doing the work and i strive with the prefects and say wherefore hath the house of god been forsaken and i gather them and set them on their station and all judah have brought in the tithe of the corn and of the new wine and of the oil to the treasuries and i appoint treasurers over the treasuries shelemiah the priest and zadok the scribe and pedaiah of the levites and by their hand is hanan son of zakur son of mataniah for steadfast they have been reckoned and on them it is to give a portion to their brethren be mindful of me o my god for this and do not blot out my kind acts that i have done for the house of my god and for its charges in those days i have seen in judah those treading wine vats on sabbath and bringing in the sheaves and lading on the asses and also wine grapes and figs and every burden yea they are bringing into jerusalem on the sabbath day and i testify in the day of their selling provision and the tyrians have dwelt in it bringing in fish and every where and selling on sabbath to the sons of judah and in jerusalem and i strive with the free men of judah and say to them what is this evil thing that ye are doing and polluting the sabbath day thus did not your fathers do and our god bringeth in on us all this evil and on this city and ye are adding fierceness on israel to pollute the sabbath and it cometh to pass when the gates of jerusalem have been dark before the sabbath that i speak and the doors are shut and i say that they do not open them till after the sabbath and of my servants i have stationed at the gates there doth not come in a burden on the sabbath day and they lodge the merchants and sellers of all ware at the outside of jerusalem once or twice and i testify against them and say unto them wherefore are ye lodging over against the wall if ye repeat it a hand i put forth upon you and from that time they have not come in on the sabbath and i say to the levites that they be cleansed and coming in keeping the gates to sanctify the sabbath day also this remember for me o my god and have pity on me according to the abundance of thy kindness also in those days i have seen the jews who have settled women of ashdod of ammon of moab and of their sons half are speaking ashdoditish and are not knowing to speak jewish and according to the language of people and people and i strive with them and declare them vile and smite certain of them and pluck off their hair and cause them to swear by god ye do not give your daughters to their sons nor do ye take of their daughters to your sons and to yourselves by these did not solomon king of israel sin and among the many nations there was no king like him and beloved by his god he was and god maketh him king over all israel even him did the strange women cause to sin and to you do we hearken to do all this great evil to trespass against our god to settle strange women and one of the sons of joiada son of eliashib the high priest is son-in-law to send Balat the horonite and i cause him to flee from off me be mindful of them o my god for the redeemed of the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the levites and i have cleansed them from every stranger and appoint charges to priests and to levites each in his work and for the wood offering at appointed times and for first fruits be mindful of me o oh my god for good the end of chapters eight through thirteen and the end of the book of nehemiah from the young's literal translation of the bible recording by mark penfold